So every year, I travel back to Taiwan to visit my mom. But this year, I want to do something different. I stop by Japan for a few days and traveled alone. From what I see online, Japan is an introvert's travel dream. It is a country with strong cultural values and traditions. No one talks on the train or walks on the street while eating. You can even order ramen without much human interactions. It seems to be the perfect place for me to find peace. Well, during my eight-day solo trip, I got lost every day, made many mistakes, and even made some friends along the way that made the trip special. This is part one of my Japan adventure, a beautiful chaos. Yes, Okay, so I just arrived in Japan, and I don't have any money. I don't have any tickets to travel. So let's figure that out first. It's already kind of stressful. Hello. Okay, I just got my SIM card, so I'm just going to try to see if it works. It's like four thousand yen for eight days. The ghetto way to unlock your iPhone. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hmm? I just realized that my iPhone doesn't have the the thing. Right now I'm at a train station. I'm feeling very weird. It feels like home, but it's not home. <laughs> oh, welcome to my room. Come in. Today is officially the first day I'm gonna explore Tokyo by myself. I came here like yesterday at 9 p.m. exhausted. I couldn't fall asleep on my 12 hours flight, so I have to play Angry Birds, watch movies, and you know. If you heard someone playing Angry Birds in 2023, you know it's messed up. I will show you my room later because it's already 10 a.m. and I want to go to like Sensoji to get some mochi and hopefully they have matcha and I'm gonna get food. I'm hungry. So let's go. The color is really beautiful today. Look at the. Look at this. So, I arrived at the temple I want to go. I found the food I want to eat. And then I realized that I didn't bring my wallet. So I'm going back to my hotel now. It's a huge hell. I waste like an hour and a half. I was very stressful just while eating my food on the side because I feel bad because in Japan you're not supposed to eat and walk right but I don't know if I can eat there you know I don't want to be that rude tourist so it made me very stressful so after having some snacks I decided to check out Sensoji and do some people watching because when I travel I think the most fascinating thing about a different country is its people I love just watching them doing the everyday things. It's so simple, and I love it. And since I'm here, why not wish for some good luck, right? What? So I wanna share what I got. I have a bad fortune, number 15. Basically, it says your wishes will never realize. A sick person will never recover. If you get a bad fortune, just come here and get a matcha ice cream. Matcha fix everything. If you got cheated, get a matcha. If your parents are disappointed, matcha. Very simple. This is too good. Too good. It might be the best ever matcha I've ever tried. 
The best matcha I have tried before coming to Japan is in Montreal. It's one of the best matcha I tried, but this one, oh. At this point, you might be wondering, what's better than getting one matcha ice cream in Tokyo? Getting the second one. And this is not any other random matcha ice cream you see on the street. They have the strongest matcha in the world. Okay, I got my matcha and I have to hide in these tiny streets to eat it because they can't eat outside. I feel like coming to Japan is like playing hide and seek. And I feel bad even though I hide it. Mm. Oh, it's very strong. I haven't eaten any like actual food. I have been eating dessert the whole day. I have to go back to my hotel a little bit. My legs sore. My legs short. I'm flat footed. Basically my foot is flat, which makes walking a lot harder. Oh shit. <laughs> Apparently I wait at the Brum bus station. So, it's gone. <laughs> okay, change plans. I'm at, I'm at my hotel right now, but I have to get ready because I got a date. Stay down. I put my camera here to film the sequence of me going in and I came back with my camera and my card is inside and my door is locked. Uh, my card inside. May I ask you a name, please? Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. This time, I'm not gonna do any stupid sequence for my B roll. I'm just gonna walk in and get ready, you know? I feel like my vlog is gonna be like not aesthetics, not smooth, just an introvert being awkward and then explore Japan in a very laid back, awkward way. Maybe that's gonna be my title Awkward, laid back, Japan trip, something like that. <laughs> okay, so I was telling you that I have a date, right? It's not like a day because I never seen this person before and this person is introduced by another friend I had never seen before either. <laughs> so that's funny, but anyway, I was texting her that, hey, I'm going to Tokyo. When I was in Los Angeles, I was just asking, is there anything from here that you like? I can bring something to you. She was saying, sure. And then this is what she likes, like a chocolate. So I just brought this and I'm going to deliver to her later. And hopefully, everything works well. Just make a friend. Don't think too much. But I think she's very cute. So, gotta have a good impression. I gotta maybe wash, take a shower, brush my teeth. I have good nails. So, nails is fine. And maybe dress nicer. I don't know. Let's see. So I'm going from here to here. It's gonna take 47 minutes, so let's go. Yeah. 
帽子吗？哈哈哈哈哈。During the dinner, Vivian decided to give me a quick tour and show me around. And you might think this restaurant looks familiar, because this is the exact one that inspired one of the famous scene in the Kill Bill. What? Your friend? Yeah, he just came uh, from uh, from America. Oh, really? It's meeting you. I don't want to exaggerate. But this might be my happiest moment in 2023. Everyone needs a friend like Vivian. Kind and genuinely care about people. Even though this is our first time meeting each other, I feel so relaxed. I can truly be myself, and I love that. I only have a few days in Tokyo, but I'm sure I will see her again. Because she insists to pay for the dinner. <laughs> So I have to pay her back. Thanks for watching. I have a great time in Tokyo, and I'll be posting a part two of my vlog later. So many things happen, and then I hope you like that too.